All right, you're basically done. Now you have a car rig. Um, you know, easy. It's easy, but it's trash. But yeah, so this was me with that stupid video that I made. Um, with so many comments that are saying, "Yo, this stuff doesn't work. This does not work. I have so many problems with this rig." Is it the rig core add-on? Like, okay, we're gonna fix this. Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Nadim, aka Sports Car, and welcome back to another Blender tutorial series. Yo, and for this tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to rig a car. So that's for today's video. I mean, you know, learn how to rig. Uh, now, from ten months ago, yep, that was ten months. I made an old one about how to rig a car and I got so many comments that are saying like this doesn't work or like what's the problem with the brake calipers rotation or I don't know like anything like that so I mean basically the old video that I made was actually the old version so I'm actually going to be making a new one you know so yeah I'm sure it's going to be a less problem and less everything I meant so, yeah if you guys don't know me, my name is Nadim. I have my Instagram account. I post some um, CG stuff such as car animations. And you know, um, I do VFX stuff. Oh, dang, there's a nice Maserati. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right there. Anyway, um, yeah, guys. So let's get right to Blender. All right, so let's make sure to install our newest add-on. Um, he recently, um, release it from March 27th so yeah so just hit the code uh, download zip and just locate where you download it of course and then after that um, and after you download it go to edit preferences or uh, add-ons install add-ons and you know just look around where you put the um, the zip download for the record car and yeah just save it, install add-on, and yeah, you guys will have it. So for this tutorial, we are going to be using a Lamborghini Huracan STO. I found it from Sketchfab. I just think that it looks pretty nice for this tutorial though. I mean, it just looks great. So let's just say that, you know, you have just a car with no empties. They're just all meshes. You know, like you're just basically starting this out. So, so before you start rigging, make sure that um, the monkey is facing um, to the y-axis. Same thing to the car, just like this. And now we can start. All right, let's add a empty. So, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, plane axis. All right, select all, control P, object, keep, transform. Now you click on the object, um, apply, and um, apply all transform. So, and I have like all the car, you know, just pointing at the plane. Now we have to give a plane a name. So rename active project, let's name it. So yeah, so you guys have to copy the same thing as what I do. Name any car. I'm going to name it STO because it's a Huracan STO, of course. But after you name it, you have to click the dot, capital B, body, just like that. So you just copy this part. If you, if you guys don't do that, then the rig will not work. So just saying. All right, let's go to the wheels. Um, of course, select the tire. Um, cursor to selected. Um, you know, shift A, add a plane axis and do, do, and do the same thing to all the wheels. All right. Now, last video that I made, um, a lot of you guys are asking, um, but the brake calipers are rotating. How can we not make it rotate? Very easy. Um, so after you got all of these ax plane axes on each wheel, first we are going to hide this this just the wheel and the rim and just leave the brake calipers and um this part right here i'm not sure what that is but yeah you guys know what i mean um on hide click the main object which is a plane axis 
Control P, object keep transform. And do the same thing to all the wheels. So I'm gonna just speed it up really quick. All right, so after you did all of the wheel, this is how it should look like. So you got the um the car main body moves and you got the wheels that are staying, which is what we want exactly. Now we are going to name each of the plane axes. So rename active project. So copy as what I type. So name any car. Wait. Name it. After you name it, add a dash capital W on um, wheel. So this is how it should look. Name dot I mean slash wheel dot ft dot l because ft means it's a front and l means left so it's basically a front uh left wheel um, i'm just gonna name this let's see sto now smart way of course copy and paste it so copy this boom and go to the front right wheel rename it paste it and instead of um, L, we should type R because it's a front um, right wheel. So, yeah. Now for the back, it's a bit different. Um, let's go to the back uh, left wheel, rename it. So I'm going to just name it STO. Um, after you name it, of course, uh, slash wheel dot bk which means back so bk means back dot l so now we have that now if you guys don't type the same thing as what i do the rig is not going to work so just give it a name after you did right dash wheel dot bk dot l so i'm just going to copy this just to save my time and rename it and paste it and this is um a right wheel so it's a back right wheel. So that's, that's how it should look. I'm going to put it link in the description so you guys can copy and paste it, of course. Now select the uh, main body plane axis. This crucial to select it because we want it to be right in the plane axis. Now you select all the plane axis, especially the main one. You click Shift A, armature car deformation rig so click on that and generate and now boom but the wheels are not moving so we have to move the wheel so you go to the wheels on rotation you put on one and yeah you have the wheels are rotating now let's make this in the middle of the um th 3d viewpoint so let's just you know play around with it make sure it's in the center there we go so now we have um the cursor in the middle of the rig and yeah guys i mean that's pretty much it now you can you know move around but yeah i mean that's pretty much it so if you guys like this video make sure to give a like subscribe and next tutorial will be about um I'm going to say how to make a fire sparks coming out of the car. Like it's kind of cool um, idea for the tutorial. So yeah, stay tuned.